and then go out and get 24 and 12, we've tried to come up with a comparison. I'm curious how you kind of describe your own game. As a, as a basketball player. Yeah? Yeah. What makes you different? Is there a player you kind of model your game after? Uh, I like my favorite player, LeBron. Try to model my game after Jokic, mm -hmm. a little bit of NBA. Mm -hmm. And you and Julian obviously cross paths at St. Francis. Tell me a little about your relationship and what you remember about those days. Uh, I mean, cool off the court. Yeah. And then it was always cool. What was it like playing basketball together? Right? It was fun. Yeah. Uh, it was my freshman year. Any particular games or memories come to mind? Of Probably we had 40, 20, and 10. When he had 40, 20, and 10? Or yeah. together you had 40, no, he 20, had 40 20, 20, 20, 20, What was that like for you to watch? <laughs> it, was just, it was just like, wow. Who was that against? Uh, I think National Christian. Okay. Do you have a favorite game of your own from, from that year? Or just being probably, able to play with him? Probably when we played Annapolis. Okay. Uh, we're talking about the idea of like transition defense together, figuring out how to play together at this level. What was it like for you guys to play together and mesh together your games at that point? And I mean, St. Francis? Yeah. Just in the little sample size you guys have had in practice. And, you know, it was like four years ago. Sure. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel like you guys have kind of bonded on the court since you got to Maryland? Oh, uh, great. We always hang out with each other every day. And obviously, just him being a veteran guy, how do you feel like he kind of brings you along? Just kind of, obviously, I know you haven't played, you know, technically first game yet, but just kind of getting you kind of comfortable. Uh, it, I mean, it was fun. It was pretty, it was pretty good. He helped me do a lot. Thanks, sir. Derek, what's, what's your uh, biggest adjustment for you from actual? Uh, probably the physicality, everybody, everybody stronger, faster, jump higher, and know the game better. Yeah. Um, I asked him what should I go in expecting, um, how was Coach Wheeler, um, of course he knew more than me, so uh, that was somebody I went to. Did uh, play a fresh basis in the mix, freshmen, transfers, seeing him going to the league now and you kind of, not necessarily, obviously nobody can fill his shoes, but taking a similar role here. Has he been giving you tips, pointers? You've been asking him, hey, I'm, you know, I'm new to this offense. What are some things that I can adjust to? Uh, the main thing is really just stay, just stay ready, stay hungry. Keep throwing into the fire. I mean, gotta be ready for it. So that's the main thing. And finally, for me, considering playing last season uh, down in Blacksburg and playing here, biggest thing maybe stylistically that's different for you in coming and playing Coach Wall's offense? Uh, more free. Really. Um, where I was at before, more system oriented. So now I'm able to do whatever, really. Just play my game, play freely. One of the real A lot of us grew up with DQ, Derry Queen. Thank you. DQ. And Rodney, I guess kind of building off that, you know, obviously, like you said, you know, just kind of transitioning here but um you know first getting your first first you know real you know, competitive whatnot i think Willard mentioned you had a ankle sprain up until like early july or whatnot but you know really since then you know how do you feel like you've kind of adjusted and gotten comfortable uh with what maryland does um just the practices really uh help, been helping me um the workouts uh just the work that's been going into it being around my teammates um yeah just getting better each and every day has helped me really being away you know from the team for a year what was it like for you sort of obviously still working on your game but not competing in games uh, the mental side of things what was that like yeah it was actually kind of tough um i really didn't like want to watch basketball because i couldn't play um that was frustrating a little bit but um um, being able to go to the gym, uh, work out, that helped a lot. Um, and getting back in the flow of things, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, a couple games or so, but um, I'll get there. What are you sort of looking forward to most in terms of coming back to the court? Um, just staying healthy, just playing. That's it. And sort of what went into the step away from BT last year? What was that? What, what went into your decision to step away from Virginia Tech last year? And what, what was that year like for you? Um, at the end of the day, I'm going to just make the best decision for myself. And that's what I did. Um, that's why I stepped away. Um, and I think it was very beneficial. What do you think was most important for you over the course that year to sort of keep improving? Um, stay in the gym, work on my weaknesses and strengths. Um, just yeah, working every day, getting better. Last three, but just what are your expectations so far for you? Um, 
expectations I mean to win a lot of games and you know for me individually I just, I just, I'm excited to be back out there that's that's my main thing just being back out there and just playing healthy and what do you expect your role to be like now uh make sure Obviously, that's why we're obviously we're <laughs> this year. Um, does it now kind of alleviate the pressure that they also brought into trenches this year? Um, yeah. Does just be a better team overall shooting? Yeah, for sure. That you know, bringing in other shooters that, that not only makes it me like feel comfortable, and it'll help like the big men down low, like Derek and Dude. They don't have to, you don't have to worry about getting double teamed because they know they can kick it out. Down and what was your assessment of the team last year? Obviously, versus the sidelines. Yeah. Uh, um, I thought we were, we were really good last year. Was you know just making shots was making you know outside jump shots was, was tough. For us. I think that was our only problem. Last year. And what have you seen from Derek Queen? Obviously, he comes in as a very talented player, five yeah. star. What have you seen from him? What's impressed you? Yeah, uh, yeah, he has really good feel for the game. I, I think he, come, he came in here uh, real confident. And, he looks comfortable. So that's very and you're okay. kind of one of the floater on this team. Um, with, you know, the, you know Jameer leaving, um, Dante as well. Um, have you kind of assumed more of a leadership role now that you're back on the court and as one of the future turners? Yeah, for sure. Especially being or going into my junior year. So, yeah, I, I think um, that's a big step for me too. And what kind of has changed leadership wise from last year? Uh, last year it was tough because you know I, I wasn't out there with the guys, so I, I didn't really feel that I had that much to, to say last year. But you know this year I'm, I can actually go out there with them and you know really make a difference out there. And you feel like you're at 100 now, kind of back to where you were before the injury? Yeah, it's good. All right, thanks, Chance. I appreciate it. Hey, Chance. Just kind of building off that. Uh, how do you feel like you've kind of been able to build? You know, from you know obviously get a chance a little bit to play with from Jameer uh, to obviously now Jacoby. Um, you know, the rest of the backcourt. Yeah, um, I think playing with those guys, it'll make the game easier for me. You know, people are going to have so much attention on them that I, I just be able to move freely and make jump shots when they kick it out and stuff. So they'll definitely make the game easier for me. We got you. Um, and like you said, obviously, you're, you're excited to just kind of be out there. But um, how, how does it kind of feel, obviously, just with practice and obviously uh, getting that first scrimmage out over the, the past weekend? But yeah. um, just how, how do you feel like you are? Uh, where do you feel like you're at just kind of in terms of, you know, 100% comfort on, on the court? Yeah, um, it feels good. I feel like every day I get more comfortable being out there, especially in practice. Um, and then once we get like a couple more games under our belt, like, I think I'll be, I'll be straight. I feel really good like with my knee and stuff. So. Gotcha, man. I know obviously you're, you're a big part of that, but um, I know shooting was a concern for you guys last year. Where, where do you guys feel like you guys, that, that backcourt, uh, obviously with the new pieces, uh, how do you feel like you kind of tried to kind of improve that this, this offseason? Um, yeah. Whether it's, you know, change change in routine or, you know, anything additional that you guys did with the coaches? Yeah, I feel like with the players we have now, I feel like our shooting is definitely a strength, though. Yeah, um, you know, with Jacoby, Rodney, me, you know, we can all shoot the ball from outside, so it's definitely a turnaround. You know, being the guy last year. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, you know, I watched a couple games last year, and then, of course, they struggled last year. And, but, like, you know, just being in the mid position, you know, that did last year, just coming in and just be ready to, like, take the lead, you know, just being there trying to be one of the best Big Ten guards in the, in the league. So just I have a high position for myself, just like I have my goal. So Appreciate it. No problem. Um, Carson, you've obviously been around the college game for a while now. Is there anything going into your fifth year that you haven't shown yet that you want to prove? Yeah, um, even though I shot almost 40 percent last year, I want to definitely show that I can shoot more than higher than 40 percent for my three point shooter. You know, um, we'll be working on that a lot, and we'll be in the gym a lot. So that's and trying to win. You know, definitely trying to win here is a bigger part of my dream trying to win in Maryland. What do you think your role needs to be to help this team reach its ultimate goal? Just to be a leader and trying to be the best teammate that I can be and definitely trying to like, trying to be get guys involved just because I've been in college and I know I can get minds, but like trying to be other people involved too. You mentioned you want to be a yeah, prolific three-point shooter. Um, how do you balance being being one of the top shooters on the team? How do you balance space on the floor while also knowing when to have the ball in your hands and create offense? Oh yeah, just understanding like what my bigs want, especially when we put, put the ball in the post, that last strap. Just know 
what area, when, when I gotta move, when I, when I gotta go, and just, you know, just not put too much pressure on myself, just know when to make the right decision when it's suitable. And you've, throughout your career, you've been a starter, you've been a bench guy, you won six men of the year last year, now you're going back to a starter. Um, I guess, how do you kind of handle the transition and role, and now you're gonna be back as a starter this season, uh, how do you anticipate that going? Oh yeah, um, that really never, I feel like my mental, my mental is really strong, and on that, especially being a basketball player in college, you gotta really be strong. And it's just, I, I don't take that as, as a downgrade or not, coming off the bench or starting, just, just make sure like I can bring every day whenever I step on it. Appreciate it. No problem.